How you guys doing? Mark Franks from PlentyOfGadgets.com. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect your Oculus Quest to your PC. All right, so let's get started. Guys, so the first things you want to do to connect your Oculus Quest to your PC, you want to make sure that your developer's mode is off. So make sure your Oculus Quest is turned on and go to your phone, go to the Oculus app, make sure you connect to your Oculus Quest and after you connect to it, go to more settings. After you go to more settings, you'll see where it says developer's mode. Make sure that's turned off. So after the developer's mode is turned off, Oculus Quest, if you got the Quest, I'm not sure if, uh, if you have the Oculus Quest 2, they give you an eight or nine foot cord, but with the Quest, the first Quest, you get like an eight or nine foot cord, which is pretty handy for me. So after you um, turn developer's mode off, go ahead and take a USB-C cord, plug it into one end into your um, your VR headset and plug the other end into your computer. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a prompt on your VR headset. So let's go ahead and put that on, turn that on and allow the access. All right, it says what, it's, what the prompt is gonna say, it says allow access to data. The connected device will be able to access files on this headset. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow. After I allow, I'll go ahead and put my headset down on my desk and let's move on to the computer and see what's going on here. All right, after I allow access, I'm going to go ahead and go to my computer. And I'm going to go to this computer. You can type in my computer here or you can go to File Explorer and you'll see this computer or you'll see my computer. And I have the Oculus Quest here. I'm going to go ahead and double click. And you see it says internal shared storage. I have 34.2 gigabytes free of 51.2. I'll go ahead and double click that. Then I'll go to where it says the uh, it says Oculus folder. Double click that. And then where it says video shots, so I'll double click this and then here are my videos. And what I can do is I can just drag them to the desktop. So if I do that, then I can uh, make and edit YouTube videos. So guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you transfer your uh, much your video files to your PC. So you want to do some recording on YouTube. Uh, that's, this is the best way to do it. All right. You guys have a good day. Peace out.